that, but we gotta get more Dumpling King. I, I always want to shorten his name, but I really don't want to shorten his name. Dumpling King? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Well, that's what it is. Yeah. Can't, okay. can't change perfection. Oh, I did push it. And whoosh. There we go. There they are. Looking good. Now, this seems rough. However, yeah, I, what what does Ganon do? Uh, make it back, apparently. Uh, mm, did he, though? <laughs> did he, though? Did he ever leave? Did yeah. he ever come back? We're still in the hole. We've never left the hole, in fact. It's still there. Oh. The dash that comes down. It's like, it's so hard because I always have to look at Ganon from a, like, is the character I'm playing against somewhat cheesable? And if the answer is yes, then, like, Ganon can have a shot. But, like, Falco's the worst spacey to run into because Falco just gets to press buttons and Tilde's just pressing buttons. I'm surprised we're not seeing more, like, just absolute, like, disrespectful edge guards with stuff like Nair or Down Air. Oh, maybe that's why the spacing from the Dumpling King is pretty, still very, very good in terms of playing around, like, the instant drop zone stuff. Like, never giving up the edge guards for free, but as soon as Falco gets a hit, it is so, so hard to play around. Trying to break shield, maybe? Uh, uh, either way, applying a ton of shield pressure, but Dumpling King gets out of danger with the up smash. Still option. Yeah, the up throw going to still survive thanks to Town and City's high ceilings. Threatening all that space, gets the flame choke. What a pickup, 60% and finds the roll in 75 run drop off Nair, no. Anticipating the high recovery. And gets the wizard's kick. The options are there. The potential. You dropped the stock here, but you just did 100% un uh, almost unanswered. But now you get to see Tilde start to find that flow state again. All of his combos work. Everything's available. Spacing with forward tilt. Spacing forward air, rather. Another up throw comes down. Resetting. But the shield comes out in time. That looks like a, just a guarantee on fair. Like, that's on, on fair on block. That's pretty nuts. You have to shield. But the falling up air into back air. Yeah. This might be the time for Dumpling King to reach into those pockets. I'd see the Bowser. Yeah, I could see I, I could see the Bowser doing... Bowser's fast. Yeah. He's fast. Has a lot of coverage. Threatens out of shield a little bit better. Uh, so totally does, doesn't get to just, like, press buttons. Probably has a better uh, ability to edge guard. Oh, um, yeah. Falco. For, for sure. Like, falling fair and stuff. Commits to Town and City. Town City wasn't that bad. There was, like, one instance where it kind of screwed up an advantage state, but... Oh. Now he's, to... he's committed. All he's right. committed. I love the exclamation point, Falco. Falco in his early years really was influenced by Martin Scorsese, Steven Spielberg, <laughs> Quentin Tarantino, and Peter Jackson in his early years. And you can really see it shows in his work as an up-and-coming movie director. <laughs> Bro, his combos are years! <laughs> he goes for movies! For, goes forever! <laughs> uh, correct. Ganon in the top six. <laughs> Dumbling King's different. You can call him Different King. John not gonna get uh, revenge. Uh, Dumbling King would literally have to beat Tilde and John beat Two Popcorn to, to get a run back. So John's got to hold that L, which is very funny. Not that I'm counting out Dumbling King for this set. I'm kind of counting out Dumbling King for this set. But yeah, down down a stock already. Like it's it's rough. The bird is just uh, swinging. And like the more the more Tilde treats it like he gets to just do whatever he wants on hit, the worse it becomes for Dumpling King. And like any number of these mix-ups just like are never going to help him. Like, because Ganon just doesn't have a consistent way to get out of pressure. I respect it. To... There's one thing to have the reaction to, uh, oh. you know, just like 
be calm about uh, blocking something like that, but then just being like, yep, I'm going to aim it up, uh, all according to plan, you're just going to do things, and I, uh, the bird will flap its wings. You just get to go crazy. Yeah. Up there. I'm trying to pin him down. I, I mean, gets good damage. The damage on hit has been has been all right, but Toda gets the party. Oh, could have been over. Oh, delay, delayed it too far. A nice little fakey there from from Tilde to run off, go back on, force the low recovery, and then threaten even more with the drop zone. Good spacing. I agree. I think uh, I think we should have tried the Bowser there, especially given how game one went. But there's something to be said about like when you're going against some of the best players, and Tilde is one of the best Falcos in the world. Whether you go Ganon or whether you go Bowser may not make a whole bunch of difference. <laughs> you're fighting Falco, Tilde Falco. Yeah, you're fighting like, Tilde's Falco against a very comboable body, so might as well go the player, go the character where you have like better intuitive spacing with and better yeah. like intuitive knowledge of the situation with, but I don't know, man. Any, anything's better than Ganon. <laughs> like, at least Bowser has, like, a hitbox as he's rising to the mm. ledge, or like, at least Bowser has, like, a a guaranteed out of shield option you can use to try and force Tilde to back off sometimes. Like at least Bowser has a drop zone forward air that's really good at edge guarding. It's like that's just you know. Alright. So while yada we, yada yada. Tilde takes it. 